Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to this product review stroke tutorial work where we're going to be taking a look at ammo is um, anti-slip paste. So here is our anti-slip paste. Now we do have it in different scales, right? As you can see, we've got 172nd, 148th, and then this one here is 135th. And there are two different colors. I wouldn't worry too much about the colors because we'll probably end up spraying on top of it. But um, you know, you might want it for a certain application where um, you, you like the color. But um, basically it is the, the grit that's inside here is um, basically they're a bit bigger as you go up the scale. So we're gonna go with the 172nd second 148 because we are doing a 148 scale model here which i've got a nice example here with a gbu right where we have that kind of rough texture around them so first off right we want to sort of isolate where this is going to go so good old tamiya masking tape right and we're just going to sort of mask up where we don't want this paste to go Right, and it also gives us nice sharp edges as well to make it just look more cooler. With the masking tape done now, we're gonna get out our paste. Now this paste um, has lasted years actually. I've had this quite a long time and we're still good to go. Um, you could squeeze it out, but admittedly, I, you do tend to kind of waste a bit. So I do kind of like to just ooze a bit out and get on a paintbrush. As you can see, I've got a really old, pretty sort of flared out um paintbrush here but you kind of want something that you can sort of stipple it down right where we can just sort of not paint this on and get brush strokes we want to sort of dab it down right so we kind of get a nice texture to it well help the texture um be more effective right and as you can see this is pretty quick and easy just to dab this down as you can see i mean i've loaded up my paintbrush just this once right so you don't have to squirt a load out and then you just have a little bit of a dab and you're done all right it smells nice and acrylic all right now once you've dabbed this on for the first coat what we want to do is we want to let it dry well uh for, for a bit of an experiment with this video i have got two of these right i have done one already as you can see here this is going to be one coat i'm going to put two coats on this one and see what kind of results we get so i'll leave that to dry put a second coat on and i'll show you the next bit so i've just put the second coat on the first coat did actually dry rather rather quickly so hopefully is what you can see here actually that does give us you know quite a nice stippled effect compared to um doing one coat hopefully you can sort of see it's kind of more coverage um, but we'll still we'll still see the end results and we can compare right while this is still wet the second coat still wet i do want to now remove the masking tape if i can just find the beginning uh, i just want to do this just because um i don't want it to go hard and then as we peel off the masking tape maybe it kind of flakes up or something i've just got to find the start um, while it's still wet it should give us a pretty nice sharp line right hopefully as you can just see there so i'll just get rid of that uh, well we want to wait for this to completely and utterly dry and pretty much sort of cure a little bit for the next stage with that all nice and dry now what you want to do is you'll kind of feel that it's uh, it is rather rough which is the whole point but um maybe there might be some sort of peak areas here and there so with a sort of nice fine sanding stick Right, I just want to just lightly just go over this, right, just to sort of get rid of those um, high points and sort of feathering it all and sort of get it all sort of uniform with its kind of rough surface, right. So it only takes a light bit of a sanding, right. You, you shouldn't really, I mean, we've got a bit of a kinky bit coming out here, so I'm just trying to sand around that, just kind of make it look look good but that is basically it on how to sort of apply it um, a little bit of sanding just to even things out um, so all there's left to do now is to go off and actually build this model um, get these um, GBUs all painted up so you can actually see the results at the end 
and here they are all nicely done all finished and ready to go um, now let's have a look a little bit closer on these and hopefully what you will see I've put a wash on there so it kind of helps enhance and brings out the rough surfaces I have um, the top one here is the one where we did one coat of the anti-slip and the bottom one here is where we did two coats um, you can just see that yes there's the odd little um, flat spot that is on the one coat but the putting two coats on does give you more of a nice even consistent surface so I definitely recommend the two two coats and it's definitely kind of like spruced things up give us some nice texture uh, more interest to the GBU so um, yeah I mean it is a nice enhancement to your weapons um, you know and this can be done on anything I mean you've got anti-slip surfaces on armored vehicles big time um, you've got um, I mean F-14s for example they've got anti-slip surfaces on there and all sorts of um, areas that you could possibly put this in dioramas fantastic and everything so definitely a good bit of kit to have in your arsenal for scale modeling um, definitely a big recommendation do love it I'm going to be using it more in the future so um, go ahead and get some because they, they are they are really good I mean admittedly you can go off and I've taught this in the past in some of my um, step by steps you can go off and use like um, Mr. Surfs of 500 and you can get pretty much the same kind of results but admittedly this is just way easier to apply um, I know you've probably already got this and you can use this but yes again it's just it was just way easier to to apply and sand back and stuff and um, you know you, you've got to sort of really stipple this one down and kind of sand it in so it's a little bit more tricky this is just way more easier and user friendly so yeah definitely a big thumbs up here at genesis models for your anti-slip surface by ammo other than that um until next time as always my name is bobby wall this genesis models and hope you've enjoyed